Good morning, Warrior Crew, and welcome to another Follow Me Around video. It is cold as hell here in KC, in Middle America. Uh, today is December 23rd, two days till Christmas. Um, you're seeing this probably in January because I decided to take the end of the year off. Um, but I thought I'd bring you along just so you could come with me. Uh, it seems like a lot of people have liked these videos lately. Um, so this, like the last three days, like yesterday, today, and tomorrow, I'm kind of treating myself to a sort of like a, I wish I could have done it all in one day, but like a spa treatment thing. So yesterday I got some new nails. I had Frenchies on um, and I just switched to this general nude. I wanted them a little bit shorter because uh, Brett's sister had her baby. He's perfect and healthy and a redhead, which we were kind of surprised by. I mean like both families have redheads in their I'm trying to get on the highway without the camera and I failed. Um, both families have redheads, so, and the parents are blonde and redhead, so, I mean, I didn't, I guess I didn't realize Brittany was a redhead, I thought she was a natural brunette, but she is not, so, um, it is 8.10 currently, and I am headed over to my parents' house to pick up mail, uh, they are out of town, they left on the 20th for their beach house, and this year I will not be joining them, be sure to check out my other, um, beach Christmas videos but I was already gonna be up anyway so I scheduled my last hair appointment for the year for today in preparation for Christmas because Brit's family goes hard on Christmas you guys like they do not play this is their their favorite thing his mom is still buying stuff still buying stuff. She called in last night and asked like some questions about things that are going to go in my stocking stuffer. I'm like, this is insane. It's insane. So uh, there will be a Christmas haul and I will of course do a disclaimer like I do every year that this is not me bragging and I'm very thankful for everything that I have received as per usual. Uh, so I have already exchanged gifts with my parents. Uh, and one of my grandparents, actually the only grandparent that I exchanged gifts with, that's already taken care of. So I ordered some boots from Charlotte Roos and I wanted to go pick them up from my parents' house really quick before my hair appointment and I have time. Cause they're just like, my parents' house is on my way to the salon. And then of course, as you saw by the title of this video, um, the thrift store is having another 50 to 75% off sale. I have no willpower. So we're gonna go hit that up. So if you remember from the last one, I said, oh, I'm gonna go hit up this other location and then I ended up not doing it. That other location is literally within walking distance from my hair salon. So we're gonna go hit that one up and see if there's anything good. If there is or is not, I may or may not go to the original location I went to in the last video. Um, I'm wearing one of the pieces that I purchased. It's the uh, dark gray Columbia jacket i should probably be wearing my coat which is currently on my lap because it is 22 degrees fahrenheit it was 50 degrees three days ago so um kansas city needs to get its act together with this weather it's driving me insane so um the boots i purchased from charlotte roos which i'm literally about to grab out of the mailbox um are not wide calf i just I am crossing my fingers. All right, you guys, we're here. Um, she actually has somebody in her chair already. I cannot believe it, it's 8.30. Okay, so here's the boots. They look like this. They have the little tie on the bottom and then they have the little heel. These were $25 on sale. It says wide plus extended width for the perfect fit. And I'm assuming that that means wide width in the foot, which, mama doesn't need but a lot of times when companies do wide width shoes they do they like automatically make them wide calf and like I know that my calf would fit in here but I do not know if it will fit in here and since there's people already in there and I do not want to have that awkward moment where I'm trying boots on and then they don't fit you know that odd horrible feeling when you're plus size and you go in a store and you think oh that looks like it'll fit me 
and it's something that you try on in front of everyone. Like, you know, like a jacket or boots. Please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit. <gasps> okay. Y'all, what, what? I did not turn the radio on. Excuse you. They fit. They're on. Oh my God. Hello, $25 boots from Charlotte Roos. What is up? Look at that. Goddamn. Okay. All right, these are my boots that I wear all the time. Oh, I am pumped. I might need thicker socks just because they are wide width, but I'm so happy. Oh my God. Oh, this is spectacular. I'm so pumped. Now I wish I'd bought them in all the colors that they had because they were only $25. Oh my God. Okay. Woohoo. Super pumped. Okay, now how do I get it back in the box so the box will close? Okay. All right, we're gonna head in. Actually, let me take my hat off so you can see the before. I am wearing only mascara today, which it does not even look like I'm wearing mascara. This is what we got. We have a few pieces of platinum in here. I did a purple shampoo. This is just, I slept with it wet. So. It'll be much sleeker and I don't know if she'll curl it, but. Oh, my brows. All right, catch you when I come back out. All right, you guys, so I am heading home and not going to the thrift store or running any of my errands because I left my wallet at the apartment in my gym bag. Um, so I have to call my stylist and um, give her my credit card info over the phone because I'm an idiot, so I'll get you a better shot of the blonde, but uh, I'm gonna close the camera because I do not wanna get pulled over because I don't have my driver's license. Do not do this at home, kids. Um, really mad at myself. So when I get back in the car after all of that, I'm gonna go to my regular thrift location and I also have to run to the grocery store because I forgot about our Christmas morning breakfast that I need to get just a couple of things for. So, hard to tell, but more blonde. Super pumped to have it. Um, I'll try and get some better shots later. I'm gonna head home. I will catch you at the thrift store. All right, so we have the wallet. Here is a better look at my hair. She put the highlights a little bit higher. We're still continuing the transition into total blonde um, and I think we are going to do some extensions next time so obviously I have good length um, but my hair is very fine and I'd like some more volume on it like I have a lot of fineness right here so um, I am helping my stylist with creating her brand and her online presence and helping the salon as a whole um, which I'm honored that they even think I have any knowledge to share with them um, but she's going to get the extensions at the salon price and give me half off the putting in of the extensions for helping her so which she didn't need to do I'm cool with paying full price um, it's still less than I thought it would be but um, so I'm not sure when we're gonna do that but that will be coming soon if you'd like a video on tape and extensions let me know uh, I don't want to end up like Tana Mojo or Jenna Marbles with those tracks. So uh, we're gonna find a way to work around that. Plus I'm having a professional do it. So um, that's what I got. We're gonna go to my regular store first, see if there's anything left, because I pretty much cleared them out a couple weeks ago. Or was that last week? Oh my God. Uh, we're gonna see if there's anything there. And if not, we're just gonna go to the other store just because I wanna go to the other store and I have nothing to do today. And I'm on Christmas vacation and I'm excited. Let's do it.
Time to reevaluate what we've got here. Let's sort it out. Okay, so I paired way back. Um, I've only got three things right now, and I do actually want to try these two on. This one's for Brett. Um, it's just a red champion workout top, and it's going to be $2.50, I think. Yeah. Um, and then I found three candles. This one was the first thing I picked up when I walked in. So, and they're all 75% off. So here's the Columbia jacket, but um, I, I'm not sure I like the color. I'm trying to see what size mine is, because this one seems huge. Yeah, I think I'm trying on an XL and it's too big. Okay, so this is $10 and it's not on sale, but it's so comfy. And since I'm not getting the other one, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. Okay, so we are back in the car. Um, that did not go as planned. I ended up not getting that Adidas hoodie, even though I said I was going to. Um, and the stuff I purchased was actually, it ended up cheaper than I had anticipated. I think they gave me more, they gave me more money off than, at least on one item. And I think they were supposed to. But uh, it ended up being $11.98 and I got five items. Five items? Can I count? Yeah. Five things. So um, I only ended up getting the one shirt for Brett, which oddly enough rang up as a men or a women's shirt, even though it's definitely a men's shirt. Um, so we are on our way to the next location. I'm gonna drink some water. I always feel like when I go thrifting, all that dust in there gets stuck in my throat and I don't know what was going on, but there were some horrible smelling people in there. Like, absolutely horrible. There was one guy in the guy section that smelled like smoke and there was this other woman in the dressing room next to me that smelled so badly I could smell her through the wall. It was awful. Thank God I only had two things to try on because I got out of there so fast. It was like I couldn't even breathe. I don't understand why people don't shower. Anybody else? I don't get it. So, anyway, on to the next. Okay, this is where the thrift store loses their damn mind. This is a faux fur coat at the thrift store for $50. I could get a faux fur coat at Torrid on sale for $50, brand new. You gotta be freaking kidding me. They have lost their minds. So the, the card's not, not looking good for my wallet, but looking good for Brett. Looking real good for Brett. Here's the current damage. We got those four, and then we have I think, three, two, three more? Two more. Three more. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys, did I score. I'm so pumped that I came to this store. I'm wondering how long these items have been sitting there waiting for me. Um, I'm waiting till I get around the corner to put the camera up on its normal spot. But um, I scored some Timberland jackets for four dollars each so i had oh there you go um i had a bunch of stuff with like these highlighter yellow tags on them and they have this little thing at the front that says this is what color each tag is because sometimes the white tags they print on paper that's kind of manila so they kind of look like tan tags or they kind of look like uh, white tags or yellow tags so they had like the clear markers up at the front and the tags on the shirts that I bought didn't match any of the tags up there so I'm like crap and yellow was half off so I'm like okay cross my little fingers here that uh, it's a yellow tag and not like a I don't know some weird ass tag that is not actually listed um, so luckily they ended up being half off I got a Reebok windbreaker for Brett and a Greg Norman 
golf shirt, which he's super been into Greg Norman. If you remember, I found a Greg Norman jacket in one of my other recent hauls, and he's obsessed with it. Um, but I got some really good stuff. I can tell that the, uh, these, this is one of the Timberland jackets. I can tell that whoever owned it had animals because there's, there's some fur on it. But uh, I can get that off, obviously. I got like a brand new Puma shirt. Um, so, I'm gonna run to the grocery store, grab a few things for Christmas morning, and then I'm gonna do a haul when I get back. So the next time you see me, we will be hauling everything. All right, catch you at that part. Okay, so we are back at my house. The lighting is not particularly ideal because it is almost six o'clock at night now, uh, but I wanted to show you guys all this stuff before I throw it in the washing machine because I wanna wear some of it. Um, so the first thing that I ended up getting was this cookie dish, cookie holder, cookie jar. Um, extremely overpriced at the thrift store, but it was 75% off, so I paid all of $6 for it. Um, I think it's really cute. It still has the tag on it, but inside was like what cookie was in it, and there are no cookies, so thank God. Then I got this candle holder. Oh, let me go this way so you can see it through the tree. This is legitimately from Bath & Body Works, which is spectacular because I almost bought one identical to this for full price, and can you see the price tag? There you go, so I paid 75% off of that, so $1.20 for that. And then I got the two candles, which were $1.50 each, little snowflake candle, and then this one is cranberry spice. We have some hurricane jars with Christmas scenes, so I've been wanting to put less expensive candles in those because the um, ones from Bath and Body Works have pretty labels. So if I put them in the hurricane, then I have to like turn the label around, so. Uh, on to the clothing. I picked up this Goofy shirt for Brett. He loves Goofy. It was $1.20. It says Chicks Dig Me, right? Chicks Dig Me? Yeah. Um, I picked up this Champion shirt for Brett. I got this golf shirt for Brett from Greg Norman. It was $3, half off. Um, I got, <laughs> this is something I've never seen at the thrift store before. I'm sure I'll butcher the name. It's a Lacoste sweatshirt. I like, so it's got like the little gator. And it says it's a size six. I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm not familiar with the sizing, but this is such nice quality that I, where did the tag go? It just totally flew off. Um, I paid that price for it. I actually paid $8 for it, but I'm okay with that because it's such nice quality and I love this. It's gonna look great on me. It does look great on me. It's gonna look great on Brett. Um, I got this awesome, just regular black, solid black Puma t-shirt for a whopping $2. The yellow tags were half off. That feels brand new. Um, I got a Reebok windbreaker. It looks purple, but this is like that metallic-y silver stuff kind of almost. So I picked this up for him. This was half off, so it was $5. He really likes it. And then the last two things were the things I was the most excited about. Um, the two Timberland jackets. So I got the quarter zip and then it has the Timberland logo right there on the hip and then also on the back right there. You can see this one is navy. It's in a size large and I paid $4 for it because it was half off. These are super thick and comfy. Uh, I can't wait to wash this and wear this immediately. And then I got its little friend, the red one as well. I pulled them out of the bag and go, Brett goes, are those for you or for me? <laughs> so uh, I guess they were a hit. This one is a medium, but it fits like the large. Um, so $8 to this one as well, or $4 was half off. And then it has a little patch on the arm. This is Polar Tech, yeah. I don't know if the other one is 
this one is. I think that's the only places where the logos are, but so I spent about $37, I believe. So uh, I'm pretty thrilled with that considering literally just this would have been $20 full price. And I tried to find the Timberland jackets uh, on a website, but the closest things I could find that were similar were over $100. And then of course the Lacoste stuff is not cheap. And I mean, I'm sure the Puma shirt would have been 20 or $30. So I saved a crap ton of money. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want more vlog, follow me around thrift videos. Um, let me know what you think of the hair. Lighting is not doing it justice, but let me know what you think. There goes the cat. Christmas is in two days. As, as you're seeing this, it's uh, way past Christmas, but um, I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season and I will catch you in the next one. Love you, Warrior Crew. Bye.